so guys small update on the allotment so we can see we have a lot of onions coming up and garlic is up and also a lot of weeds coming up again which is absolutely a nightmare however considering they've been late in and the weather has not been good it's not doing too bad i put up this small pea trellis last week so i'm going to put some peas in put it with leeks left over there rhubarb still going strong i'm going to pick some to make some jam i've sorted this area a little bit uh, horse manure there's a whole pile over there so your mama's gonna be shoveling some crap in a minute so i'm gonna fill up the space here there's gonna be for the be not the beans for the pumpkins so the pumpkin's gonna crawl kind of crossover in between uh hopefully that will work well unfortunately my potatoes and frostbite it's such a shame they were doing so well um those ones might make it but some might not i don't know i'll have to have a look and let me show you the second allotment we did a bit of digging then my husband helped me out a bit hold on let's show you look at that how pretty anyway here we go this is the abandoned plot well no longer abandoned so i'll show you from the beginning Right, the only thing that went in, in here is loads of garlic. It's about 70 garlics went in there. Majority are doing A-OK, -okay, but whether we lost some or they just not came up yet, I don't know, but that's OK. So we've dug up, or started digging up, shall I say, the raised bed, or bed there and the bed here. They used to have like little separations in there. So I think I'm just gonna follow this for the ease of that season. Cardboard here going to be covered with with the bark or with the wood chips like I did at the back. Oh, um, yeah, I'm just trying to even this out. If you remember it from last time, it's really gloggy, but putting in the uh, chicken wood chips kind of helps a little bit. There's a massive rhubarb crown in here, so I've got my hopes they'll come up later on. And you've got two raised beds that are, <laughs> because I uncovered them, they're now covered in weeds. So I think I'm going to cover them up again, because uh, that's going to be a lot of digging. And then we've got the raised bed here. We've got some currants coming up. Apparently those ones are black currants. They're going strong. Look at that, better than the ones I've got at home right now. So which is really, really nice. So we've got what, three bushes or two? Two big ones here. So here we are. And we've got some raspberries there look a bit sorry for themselves <laughs> but already budding as well anyway Ooh, and some dandelions mm, i guess i'll be picking some making something special anyway guys so that's the allotment tour and i will show you what's happening at home in the garden so guys i'm going to show you the garden so i have a small pear tree here which is doing a-okay we had a few pears last year i have a plum tree here that's also done um, extremely well last year, So, and it's coming from strength to strength. This side, which I haven't showed you before, was a mess. It's still a bit of a mess. I have my hot composter. I was about to just get some stuff out of there. Um, it's pretty much like a wormery now at the moment, and it is uh, pretty hot in there, which is great. I've got my raised beds here, which I have uh, some garlics, and I've got some onions, which are not doing too bad. I have a lot of rosemary. Um, do excuse, we need to cut the grass. Uh, I have my fruit bushes here. I have the red currant, the black currant, and gooseberries. I've got lovely tulips growing amongst some weeds. I've got some oregano growing in there, which is like a weed everywhere. Um, here, you might remember the raised beds. I've got a quarter or one third of this. It's got parsnips. I've got some Mizuna and I have lettuce, everything else, it's bare at the moment. On the other side, here I have a strawberry bed that I'm not doing that well because it's quite shaded in here so I've got to change it. Here is my little nursery part where I put stuff because it's quite shaded in there and anything in the pots does really well in here and you can see I've got tons of bamboo. I've got my carrots planted in here, you can just about see them coming up amongst a couple of little weeds and i've got my curly leaf parsley which is taking off again this year 
so if we're coming in here as you can see guys this is here this is my totally um like entrance to the garden that i don't get to see from the house which is kind of nice so got a little top there so this is my uh, like i said before her bed which is kind of picking up i've planted some sorrel i've got some rocket oregano um sage thyme and they've got mint coming up so i've got jackie wandering around um so i've got my strawberries in here now which are doing okay this one's doing better they do get full sun so they're looking okay I have a couple of pots in here, like a nursery pot for some herbs. I've got some dill planted, which has started to come up. I uh, have my two bags of potatoes. That's just a test run in the bags. So here, you might remember, I've dug everything out. I've taken a pathway out. This little greenhouse will go into allotment, I think. Oh, hi, Jackie. Um, sorry, chickens are out. Right, I've got some more onions planted in the back. It is shaded, but I had some left over and that's part covered up still. And I've got the raised bed here that will be used for the tomatoes. And I do have about mess, but I do have some raspberries and fallen canes here. So this is guys the other side. I use this space at the moment to plant up stuff because I ran out of space in the greenhouse. I've got my pots ready to go in for tomatoes and cucumbers in the greenhouse. I've got two lots of pots of peas with the support. Sunflowers are gonna be going in literally probably today. Um, some of my peas have come out now because I've run out of space, as I said. Still messy here, but nonetheless. Um, I've got some kohlrabi here. I've got some tomatoes that are not particularly great. Cucumbers are doing really badly, so I have to go and seed them yet again. So here you can see some tomatoes are doing amazingly well, which I'm really happy with. We've got more tomatoes there, we've got some lettuce. Finally, I have some courgettes coming up in here. It's taking forever. The same as my pumpkins. Some more tomatoes and some more peas at the back with some other random things. And second greenhouse, again, I've got some runner beans planted up, not a lot, which I'll have to, I've got some more arrived today, so I'll be planting up more. My butter beans, you can see the failure rate is quite high. Um, however, my broad beans are doing lovely. I've got a fresh set came up here. I've got nasturtiums that are ready to come out. Leeks are doing a-okay. And here, I had a lot of peas, but obviously they came out. So I still have my corn, uh, which I need to plant more. I've got the spring cabbage, French beans, a little bit slow. If you remember, there's been three weeks since I last filmed. Some more corn is coming up, some more chard, and courgettes here are not doing anything at all. So I'm very hit and miss this year, very hit and miss. I've got more tomatoes, as you can see over there. And I've got a load more peas planted up again because uh, I'm going to do them successionally sowing. And I have more corn. I think I planted another 70 plants in there. And some more peas in there. So that pretty much sums it up. And lastly, guys, I have a cherry tree here. It's been there for a few years, but unfortunately, every year it's not doing so great. So, but here we are. Fingers crossed for this year. So it's not doing too bad. So we'll see what happens. So you guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video or at least find it a little bit nosy and interesting what's going on in the other people's gardens. I always found like I love to watch other people's growth stuff just to see where my vegetables compare to other people. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.